So when it comes to casting crankbaits out here on the Mississippi River, like anywhere casting a crankbait, to me, for it to be efficient, I need to be able to cast it far because let's face it, especially when it comes down to deep diving crankbaits, I need to cast it far enough that it can achieve the greatest depth that it can on a cast, especially in these deep water situations like in the current that we're dealing with here on the Mississippi River. So the rod that I like to use is one of the longest rods that I'll ever use. This is a seven foot six medium. Now having that long rod is gonna help me be able to cast further easier with less effort. And not only having that long rod for casting, but it's also gonna be a lot more forgiving. It has a lot more cushion. So when these fish hit in that current, they can very easily go the other way with a couple mile an hour of current on top of them. So having a rod that can also forgive some of that stress of the initial hook set is really important. You know, sliding down to the reel, I always like to have a larger arbor size. This is a size 30 Abu Garcia. That larger arbor size, once again, helps me cast further. Um, when it comes down to the line, I'm a 10 pound fire line uh, for my main line. I want a no stretch line, so that way I can feel the rocks. Not only can I feel the rocks, that thinner diameter cuts through the current a lot better, but one thing I do a little bit different, they might sound crazy, is I actually use a fluorocarbon leader. Now this is just a short, maybe foot and a half, uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. And to me, fluorocarbon does a lot better job at abrasion resistance where it's built for the setup here on the Mississippi River. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to stay up to date with the latest tips and techniques to help you get the next bite.